Welcome to your new office at the Hill Student Center. The UAB Communications Applications Department has created this video to use in conjunction with your telephone user guide. We hope this will help to familiarize you with your new telephone and provide instructions on call processing features. Welcome to Telephone Training, brought to you by UAB Communications. The first thing we are going to do is go over the physical phone and provide instructions on how to navigate and access available services. Each phone has an identifying number that we need in order to make changes, relocate, or correct issues. This is the same purpose as a pseudo number of digital sets. The set identifier is located on a label under the receiver. You will be asked for this number when reporting a problem or requesting a change to your telephone. The bottom of the phone, you will find two ports. The one on the left is a switch port. There will be an Ethernet cable going from the network jack to this port. The one on the right will also have an Ethernet cable connecting your computer. It is important to note that your new phone works with the network, and if the network goes down, it will affect your phone as well. Okay. The phone is adjustable by pressing the tilt lever button on the back of the phone. You can choose the angle that's best for you. Okay. On the top of the phone, there are two lights. When your phone is ringing, the red light will blink. The blue light will be solid when you're on an active call. The red light will be solid if you have missed a call or have a new voicemail. Your telephone has a high resolution LCD display with adjustable contrast. The display has three areas. The upper display provides labels for the six self-labeled feature keys. The middle display area contains information concerning dial or caller ID information. The lower display area provides labels for the four content-sensitive soft keys. The navigation toggle has four directions plus a center button. This is used to navigate through menus and provide additional features on the feature keys. The center button is used as an OK soft key. There are six specialized feature keys. The copy and services keys may be used for future enhancements but are not used at this time. The quit button is used to return to the main menu or to cancel an action. The message inbox, when pressed, displays caller information which you can either display, call, or store by pressing the associated soft key in menu action. The shift out box allows you to toggle between features on the soft keys. The directory button provides access to directory services where you may store up to 16 frequently called numbers. To enter a number manually into the directory, press the directory button. Select OK at new entry. To store the number, select one from the menu. When the cursor appears, enter the number to be stored. Remember, if you are storing an off-campus number, dial 9 plus a 7-digit number, and if it's long distance, include the area code. To store the surname, select 2 from the menu. When the cursor appears, enter the name to be stored using the dial pad for the corresponding letters, then press OK. To store first name, select three from the menu and enter the name using the dial pad. You can also store numbers by pressing the message inbox key. Use your navigation key to highlight the number to be stored and select OK. And choose option three. You may then edit the number or store the caller's name.
You have six call processing fixed keys. Mute is used if you want to temporarily disable the call from hearing any sound transmitted. The red light will be on when the call is muted. Hands-free is used if you would like to initiate or receive a call without using your handset. Goodbye is used to terminate a call. Expand is not used at this time, but may be used for future enhancements. The headset button has to be pressed if you are answering or making a call using your headset. The headset is plugged in the headset port on the back of the phone. Press the hold button to place the caller on hold. The indicator next to the line key will begin to blink. The caller will hear music while on hold. To continue your call, press the feature button next to the blinking line key. The volume control button will change the volume of the ring. You must do this while your phone is ringing. You may also adjust the volume of the headset, handset, or speaker while on an active call. To change the ringtone, press the menu button and select option 1 for audio. Then 1 for play ring patterns. You can choose from 7 different ringtones. By using your navigational toggle, you may select, play, and apply the ringtone. Once the new ringtone is applied, that tone will be used for incoming calls. We are now going to go over basic telephone operation. To answer or initiate a call, you can either pick up the receiver or press the hands-free feature button. To dial a number from your directory, press the directory button. Using your arrow keys, scroll to highlight the entry and press the dial soft key. Thank you for calling the UAV Communications Applications Department. To program an auto dial button, press the menu soft key and choose option 3. Use the navigational keys to highlight an auto dial key and press OK. Use the dial pad keys corresponding to the appropriate letter to label the button and press OK when you are finished. Next, assign the phone number to that labeled auto dial button. By pressing the button, it will begin to flash. Dial the five-digit on-campus telephone number or dial nine plus the telephone number for an outside call. When complete, press the button again to store the number. To use, either lift your receiver or press your hands-free button. And press the button and the number is dialed automatically. Thank you for calling UAB Communications. This is Bill Bill Schultz speaking. How may I help you? To dial from your message inbox, press the button. Using the navigational key to highlight the desired entry and press the dial soft key and OK. Thank you for calling UAB Communications. This is Bill Russell speaking. How may I help you? The conference feature provides the capabilities to create a conference call with up to 10 participants. A conference call is created by dialing the first participant. After connecting with the first party, ask him or her to hold. Please hold. Press the conference feature button. The first party is placed on hold. Then dial the second party. Press the conference button again and all participants will be connected to the call. You may continue these steps to connect up to 10 participants. If you receive a busy signal or no answer or calling any party, press the conference button twice to reconnect to the calling party. Or you may press the line key to reconnect to the conference.
The transfer feature is used to send a call to another extension. To transfer a call, press the transfer feature key. You will hear three beeps followed by dial tone. The call is placed on hold. Notice the error indicator next to the transfer key is solid and the line key flashes. Dial the number to which to transfer the call and press the transfer button again. You can either announce the call or press the goodbye key to complete the transfer. To cancel the transfer, press the transfer button twice. Forward allows you to reroute calls to another phone. To forward your calls, access the line you wish to forward. Dial either star 78 or press the forward button. You may then dial another extension, an outside number, remember to dial 9 before the 7 digit number, or you can send all calls to voicemail by dialing 66245. To cancel forwarding, access the line and dial star 79. Ms. Shelley Henderson is a telecom analyst responsible for the coordination of services installed on the first floor. Mr. Melbeth Shipp is a telecom analyst responsible for the coordination of services installed on the second floor. Ms. Jennifer Dotson is a telecom analyst responsible for the coordination of services installed on the third floor. Mr. Herb Fallon is a telecom analyst responsible for the coordination of services installed on the fourth floor. Herb will assume responsibility for the entire building once all occupants have moved into their new offices. We appreciate the time you spent watching our video. If you have any questions, please contact us by dialing 934-0503. If you have service problems, please contact our help desk at 934-7777.